Hello guys, so I just wanted to make a quick video tutorial kind of thing uh, to explain how you can achieve this hover effect in Oxygen Builder. Uh, this was asked by Enrique in the uh, Oxygen uh, Facebook group. Uh, it's not so difficult, I don't think. It's pretty easy once you know how it's done. Um, you can use it on like a repeater for your blogs. You could use it uh, on a gallery, uh, any kind of CAD that you got set up on your page, you could use it. Uh, so <clears throat> yeah, I'll try and show you how to achieve something like this. So uh, just a heads up, I will be using Oxy Ninja, but if you guys want me to make this tutorial without a framework, uh, just let me know in the comments and uh, I'll be happy to make another video. Uh, but yeah, I've just set up a um, Cloudways app uh, just kind of a, you know, a sandbox page that I like to play around on. So let's get started then. We'll do the card here. We'll make it 300 pixels wide. 180 pixels high. And let's add some rounded borders. This is uh, 7 pixels by the way. I also want to add a shadow. And then let's add a background image. Uh, let's just use this one. Okay. Um, let me rename this to our blog card. Cover, no repeat, 50% on both of these like that. So next we want to add another div. This is going to contain our text and icon. The text is on the left, the icon's on the right, so this div needs to span 100% uh, width. So we'll do full width like that. Then we'll add our text. This is going to be our blog title or, you know, your, your picture title, gallery title, whatever. Uh, let's call it Hello World for now. And then we also want to add our icon. This is going to be like a, a right arrow kind of thing, like this. Um, let's go back to the div. We need to do horizontal. We need to do middle align and space between, like that. So let's do a little bit of styling. Let's do 24 pixels here. Let's make it white. We'll also make our text white. So we'll do a uh, text light color like that. Uh, this div needs some padding. So we'll do padding. I think uh, extra small should be good. Yeah. And then on the blog card itself, just uh, put everything to the bottom like that. Now, as far as accessibility goes, this might be bad practice because depending on your featured image, uh, it might be impossible to read this text. So what we can do is on your blog card, uh, add two colors as a gradient. The first color, it can just be um, transparent, so you can see the picture. Make this black like that. And then I don't want to take too much away from the picture, so I'll probably put this to like 75%. So the text will always be uh, at least visible, uh, a little bit more visible now. Okay, so what we need next is our circle. So we'll add another div. We'll use this div as our huge circle. The circle's pretty big, it's like 800 pixels, I think. I'm just guessing. Let's rename this to our circle. This is going to be our text container. Okay, um, what we need to do on the block card, we need to uh, position this relative because this is going to be the parent. So parents always relative and then the circle inside of it is the child technically. So this needs to be absolute. Now we can't really see the circle, which is a problem. So to fix that, you could just do uh, in layout, 
go to overflow, just make sure visible is actually checked and then you can actually see your your circle now. So, so let's make it a circle. Uh, borders 50%. Nice. And now let's position it properly. So go to layout. So we know, we already know it's 800 pixels wide. So if we do minus 800 here, now this side of this circle is flush with this, this edge of the card. And they will do the same here. So minus 800 pixels. So the top's flush and then this side is flush. So when we hover this now, we'll hover it. It's going to come in from the bottom right, from this position. It's going to come in this way like that. So let's add some code, some CSS code block. Uh, let's just get rid of this like so. So in CSS, we need to target this using a class on hover. And then once this is hovered, we want to do something with this, which we can target with a class. I've not added the classes yet. We'll add them after, but we'll call it, we'll call this one uh, blog card. I suppose it makes sense. So when we hover it, when we hover the blog card, we want to do something with the circle. Uh, let's just call it uh, blog card circle. And what we want to do is we want to change its position. So we'll do a transform, do a translate X on the X axis. We want to move it um, negative. So negative means it's going to come back this way. Uh, let's do like 350 pixels and then translate Y. We'll also do a negative. So Y with negative is going to go up. And let's do 150 pixels. So it's not going to do anything yet because they don't have classes. So we'll add these now. So blog card will be this one. Blog card like that. And this circle is going to be blog card circle add class. So now, as you can see, it's working and the position actually looks pretty good. That looks decent. So let's style the circle a little bit. Let's add a background. Uh, background color. Let's do. Normally, I would recommend to use your website's accent color. Uh, but just for this, let's do let's do like yeah, I kind of like this. Looks pretty nice. Also, let's add a uh, transition so it moves. It moves smoothly. Transition C transition. Okay, nice. Now it looks like the circles going over the top of this text. So what we can do to fix that is on this circle. Um, just give it a Z index of, for example, one. And then on this div, the text container, we'll give it a Z index of two. So it's on top. Nice. Okay. So the final task is to go back on the ID, layout, hidden. There you go. Looks pretty good. So now let's style the um, the icon here. Icon. So let's give this. Let's also give this a class. Uh, this class is going to be called uh, blog card icon, which I did make earlier. Uh, there's nothing on it at the moment. It's all blank. So what we want to do with this is uh, we'll give it a border of white. white one pixel width solid. Okay.
All right, I'm not sure why that's happening. Uh, let's go to the icon. Color. Hmm. That's very strange. I don't know where that background's coming from. Let me just check the front. Uh, front end. Okay. So it's just a builder, builder bug. Okay, no worries. So what we want to do is same again. So on hover. CSS. So I'm just going to copy this, but this time we want to do um, blog card icon. We want to change the background to a white color. Uh, this needs to be a hashtag. And we also want to change the, the color of the arrow itself. So to do that, you could just target the color like that. And let's use, let's use this orange. So what I'm going to do here is grab the, uh, the main color. Okay, put that back to 50%. Come on, there we go. CSS. Color is going to be that one. Uh, yeah, so the icon, it looks like, yeah, it's taken a color from the ID, which get rid of that, because that's overriding the class. This is the class, this is what we're targeting to change. If you have a color on the ID, it's, it's going to override the class, so just get rid of that. And then finally, on the icon, we need to add another transition. Uh, transition, C transition, like that. Save it. And then we'll just have a look on the front, if it wants to save. There we go. Nice. Now I did notice on the original, um, it looks like, yeah, it looks like the icon, the transition is faster than the big circle itself. Yeah, so it finishes its transition way before. So what we can do then, instead of using Oxy Ninja's uh, class, which I believe is around 0 0.6 seconds, uh, we could just make our own. So block card icon, uh, we'll go to effects, transition, let's do half, so 0 0.3. So that will change much quicker now. Yeah, much better. Yeah, it looks like also the opacity is more like up here. Let's do 75. 70. 70 works. Cool. Nice. So then what you can do is, um, I'm just going to add another section. Um, BG light. Let's do BG light. Uh, BG light alt is the uh, default. So let's go that one. Just make it a little bit more gray. Now let's add a repeater. So now we have a reference. I, I do have hydrogen installed, which is, it's it's so convenient. You could just copy, you know, the styles from here into the repeater, which is amazing. So let's target our posts. So we'll go custom post type post. Uh, I do have three posts already. So if I apply that, uh, there should be three divs like so. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Oxy Ninja's columns. So columns three on the repeater. 
I want to add a gap of, uh, let's do medium. Yeah. So then what I want to do is, um, do I want to use this div? Yeah, I guess I could. I can't rename this though for some reason. It's quite odd. Also, I cannot make this a link. So what I'm going to do is add within that another div. This is going to be our main div. Yeah, yeah. So this div here is going to be our blog cat. Because we want to link this. So it's a simple case of copying everything from here onto this. And uh, I'm just going to use this like that. Nice. Um, this has a set width on it. Uh, so what we could do is on this div, just center align it. Uh, you could also get rid of the, um, I suppose if you get rid of the width and just do a hundred percent, you know, to fill the whole, uh, column that could work too. Uh, I think we will do that actually. Yeah. So then I'm going to increase the height just a little bit to, uh, 200. Nice. And then uh, what you want to do, guys, is just, you know, uh, we could put the code block in this section now, I suppose. And then the blog card has text container. So copy, paste. Also has the circle. Copy, paste. Uh, that needs to go inside the blog card. Like so. And now it's a simple case of using dynamic data. So what we'll do for this uh, background is data, featured image. Okay. Um, the text. We want to grab title. And then on the main blog cat that we set up is we just want to make it a link, cancel that data, permalink, and that's it guys. That should be it. Let's check it on the front end. Refresh. Perfect. Yeah, for some reason this is pulling uh, my old image. I'm not sure why. It's probably in the cache or something, but but this is actually correct. Uh, if I show you the back end, so if I open these up, hello world, hello world two, hello world three. So the featured image is the desert, the purple cityscape, and then the the one with the red sky. So. Yeah, there you go, guys. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, it looks pretty sweet. If you've got any questions, just let me know. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be releasing uh, a lot more tutorials like this. So uh, please do subscribe if you're interested or, or don't if you're not. So yeah, either way. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.